Hey guys, we're back with Yakuza 3 out here. Damn, it's been a while, actually, like a week or so, but for me, it feels like a while. But yeah, we're doing part two right now of Yakuza 3, and we're about to go to the golf course, you know, try to, like, compete with that guy, with the main man. Well, that's what I feel is going to happen, right? Uh, Akasaka. Yeah. All right, we got to go with that dude and see what's up. But yeah, yeah guys, this is part two of Yakuza 3. Yeah, we out here, part Yakuza 3? Oh, shit. Been three games already. Okay, we are, I always say that, though, but yeah. All right. Let's keep it this let's keep this going. Okay, so this was the guy we were talking to before, right? Alright, Akasaka san's always practicing his swing, so you might run into him at the golf course. Oh yeah, he told us about it actually. And if you need a way there, you can take the monorail. Just get off a golf course station and you're golden. Thanks a ton, Miyata san. Time to go find out if those rumors are true. Alright, cool. So we're gonna go ahead and talk to that dude. I do remember it being like something about school, right? Because uh, Shiro, yeah, I don't remember his name still. Shiro was being uh, bullied by the by the teacher's kid at school, which is kind of weird, right? All right, you can now take a taxi or a monorail trip to the golf course. We're going to go with this guy, right? Well, not the teacher. I think he's like the politician, maybe? All right, better go find Nakasaka at the golf course. All right. Oh, shit. Yeah, I was feeling weird, though. All right. All right, this is a taxi. Wait, which taxi do I have to pick? This is the taxi, right? Oh, it's the phone. No, no, this is not it. All right, so I do have to f get inside a taxi, but I'm not. W uh, wait, are those taxis? They're probably not even taxis. They're maybe police cars. Am I doing this right, or do I have to go upstairs? Oh, okay, never mind. Wow. Oh, we're doing monorail. Wait, what? <laughs> Golf course station. Let's go over there. Alright, we good. Are we here now? This is a golf club? Welcome, sir. Are you a member of our club? Well, no. I, uh... Oh, so you're a visitor. Do you have a guest pass? Uh... My deepest apologies, sir. But this is a highly exclusive club for local businessmen and government officials only. Oh, so we're indeed talking about the guy. To the guy, the one of the politicians who's trying to like do something with the place where we live at, to Okinawa. If you don't have an invitation from a current member, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I'm very sorry, sir. Damn it. How am I ever going to find Akasaka if I can't even get in the club? Damn, that's true. If you allow me to intrude. Oh, who is this? Huh? I hear you don't have a guest pass. Oh, I couldn't read that. Oh, shit. Yeah, I didn't realize this was a private club. In that case, why don't you join me for a couple of holes? Really? I was actually meant to meet a friend here, but it seems he won't be showing up. I suppose he had some last-minute business to attend to. I'm not too fond of playing by myself, though, so if you wouldn't mind joining me, I'll be glad to have you along. Okay. All right. And who are you exactly? Wait, don't tell me he is the guy. He Don't tell me he is the politician we're talk, trying to talk to, about, uh, you know. Because he does look like the politician that they showed on the TV. Ah, uh, where are my manners? My name is Akasaka. Yeah, he see, he see my me? All right. You mean from the city council? Uh, I take it you heard of me. May I ask your name? It's Kiryu. Well then, Kiryu-san. Shall we play? Yeah, let's do it. Talk about luck. This is a perfect chance for me to get closer to Akasaka. Damn. Holy shit. What the fuck? Okay, so we're golfing now. Oh shit. All right. Change shot range. I actually did play the, the mini golf game with a friend of mine. Because when he came to my house, we were playing that mini game. And it, it, it is kind of... I'm not, I'm definitely going to be honest here. It's definitely kind of hard for me. It's... Well, yeah. Well, it's, it's hard, like kind of rough like the controls and everything it's, it feels kind of complex in a way but all right we're, we're, we're definitely gonna do this though we're gonna beat him all right change shot direction all oh, the bumpers yeah what the fuck all right switch to camera mode uh move impact point all right so all right uh select the club start swing build power set impact timing camera mode or display scores change shot range all right we got this we got the dog barking over here. Alright. I'll take the first shot if you don't mind. Be my guest. Alright, we got Akasaka over here. Look at him. 
Oh, like a tutorial? Alright, so they know. Change clubs by tilting the right stick up and down. Alright. Hmm. Alright, press Y to change the strap range to half the distance. Alright. Use the D-pad to change the impact point. Some points will put a spin on the ball. He's really gonna do it, huh? Hold down A to build shot power. Okay. Release A to set the shot power. Okay. After setting the power, press A just as the cursor is aligned with the ball to deliver the optimal impact. Okay. So that's like the best impact that you can do. Alright. Hey, you're pretty good. I'm not sure I'd go that far. The wind's just been blowing in my favor today, that's all. Do you golf often, Kiryu-san? <laughs> Probably not. Not really, no. Ah, uh, well. Practice makes perfect. Right. Oh shit, alright, now it's our turn. Alright, we better not- Oh shit, alright. I should probably, like, up the volume a little bit just- Cause right now we're in a very quiet place, you know, in golf. You know how golf is. Oh shit, so we can actually hit it? Oh wait, wait, wait. Did that count? Take a mulligan? What the fuck is a mulligan? Alright. Alright, never mind. <laughs> Alright, let's go with that. Alright, we good? Alright, nice. Holy shit. Okay, that wasn't pretty bad. Alright. No. Oh my god. Alright, so he is doing it. Alright. Alright, so now what? Should we try it like that? I'm definitely not gonna shoot it. I'm gonna try this. So the wind is like 2.8 meters. Alright. Oh shit, that was pretty. Alright. Alright, cool, cool. No, I don't- Wait, I can try? No, I don't want to do that. Let's make it fair. Alright, alright. Oh shit, alright. Hmm. Fuck, that was so close. Alright. <laughs> no, I don't want to retry. We good. Alright, let me move this a little bit. Alright, that's good. No, what the fuck? Alright. No, yeah, well, yeah, let's retry this shot. Like, do I get, like, punished by saying yes? Probably not. Because it's part of the story, right? What? Even that? Let me do it again. What? What am I supposed to do then? Alright. What's the, what's the ultimate pressure? What? Alright, alright. Yes, try. Alright, good. Alright, so it is kind of complicated. I got par, alright. Alright, I don't want to do that many retries. This this is just for pure, like, tutorial stuff. This guy got it, look at him. Holy shit. Wow, Kirisan, your form is fantastic. Me? I don't think so. Haha, <laughs> no need to be modest. You're a natural. Oh, shall we head to the next hole? Sounds good. Alright, so we, we're paired so far. Pretty, like, literally. <laughs> Alright. Alright, how we doing here? Say, what sort of work do you do, Kirisan? Oh, if he knew? If he knew what, what happened? Oh, shit. Well, we could say we're doing it where we're, like, running an orphanage. I run an orphanage called Morning Glory. Yeah, pretty much. Wow. Taking care of all those children is quite a task. It's not easy, sure. But nothing makes me happier than seeing them smile. Yeah, that's good, Kiryu, let's go. Huh, that's wonderful. I'm glad to know you enjoyed your work, Kiryu-san. And what vital work it is. Now let's get this whole started. Alright. Holy shit. Yeah, he got that, okay. Holy shit. I can do this though. Hole in one? I'ma try it, all the way. Alright, the wind is pretty... Alright, wacky. Alright, I'm gonna try it that way. 
you know, if you're just like doing this. Oh shit, alright. Shit, alright. I don't wanna. Should I retry? Shit, shit. Let's do it, let's do it. There's no uh, penalty for it, right? Stroke one. Yeah, I'm still on stroke one. Alright, let me see. Oh, I can have the power. Alright. I don't think that'll work. Okay, let's try that. Alright, let me change the angle a little bit. Alright, that'll be good. That went kind of far. I'm not gonna lie, that's rough, yeah. Alright, let me try it again. We're doing this, alright. You know, let's go with this one over here. This one should work. Alright. Alright. Shit. Alright. Let me try that. Alright, let's go with that one. Let's go with that one. Alright, fairway. Let's let's hit it right there. Oh shit. Alright. Kinda like drift. Shit. No way we're doing that one. Alright. Alright, so it is kinda drifting, so let's throw it here. Alright, that's good. Alright, nice shot. We doing this, we doing this. What? Alright, alright, alright. Uh, like, fo focusing a lot. Alright, cool. Alright, that's good. Alright, that's gotta be hole in one. Okay, that's good. I'll take that. I'll take that. Nah, take the mulligan? What's a mulligan? No. Alright, we're still doing this. Alright. All the way. Shit. Alright. Alright, yes, take a mulligan. Shit, okay. I don't know, the, the, way, the pressure is kind of weird. Alright. What? How did that not enter? Alright, nice. Birdie. Alright, cool. Alright, let's keep it that. Alright. How is this guy gonna do? Alright. He got a birdie too. Holy shit, alright. Speaking of the orphanage, Kiryu-san, how many kids do you have there? Nine. All in elementary school. And you take care of them all by yourself? Do you have any helpers? No, but the oldest girl, Haruka, takes on a lot of that responsibility. She'll be starting 6th six, grade ne next month. Damn, 6th grade? Alright. She's growing. Alright, and the shores are divided up between all the kids. Everyone has to help out. That's true. How wonderful. Too many kids these days sit around watching TV while their parents do all the work. Oh shit. Now, shall we head to the next hole? Alright. You know what? We, we gotta do those mulligans. We gotta take those mulligans because... Damn, I mean... We gotta, we gotta make this guy like us. Alright. As a professional, Kirisan, what are your thoughts on the youth of today? Huh. Alright. Well, things were definitely different when I was a kid, but with how drastically the world has changed, I guess that's not much. Not, that's not too much of a surprise. All right, I'd say the real problem is that we spoon feed everything to kids now nowadays. There's no room for imagination anymore. Damn. Back in my day, we come up with games we could all play together when we were bored, and since we had lots of kids of different ages, we had to make rules that were fair to everyone. We didn't want to exclude anyone just because of their age or ability. It was through the, those playground games that we first learned about cooperation and what it means to help others. Damn, alright. Kiri out here saying what he what he, what he thinks. Alright, it's cool. Alright. Alright guys, I was just checking right now, the stream. Alright, we good. These days though, it's all about video games and the internet. Okay, okay, Kiri. From what I hear, most kids would rather stay in their rooms and then, then go outside of the play. <laughs> alright, Kiri, Kiri is, you know... I'm gonna agree with Kiryu, kinda explains me in a sense, alright. True, we didn't have any of those luxuries when we were young. Children nowadays certainly have it good, but in a way I feel sorry for them. 
Damn. Bullying seems to have grown more prevalent as well. I will admit, it's always been present, but incidents appear to be even more malicious, malicious recently. Ooh, if you knew? Perhaps the children of today lack basic consideration for their fellow students. Looks like it, yeah. Oh, so we're saving it. We're saving that, that piece of information for later. So when, when when he's like really vulnerable, we're gonna get him like we're gonna get him off guard over here with that we like, huh alright. That teacher, huh? Alright. Well he's probably not the okay, the right fit. Oh right, never mind. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. I'm like talking way too much. Alright. Alright, we gotta do this shot. Um All right, that'll be good. Oh shit. That was a lot. No, OB, no. Take a mulligan. All right. Let's go with that one. That club. Okay, that was good. Oh shit, no. All right. All right, how, how does that perform? Oh shit. Alright, I'm just looking at how the scale works. Okay, mulligan, yeah. Okay. Okay. Alright, nice shot. How is that gonna look? Not good. Alright. Okay, so now I got sort of... Uh, Alright. We're gonna go with this one. We're gonna put it around here. All right, that's good. Shit, I didn't do it good. Now mulligan. All right. Shit. All right. Oh, so that's the force. All right. All right. You know what? Let's keep it. That's good. That's good. I don't want to retry it. This guy already started. All right. Cool. Damn. Alright, he doesn't care, he's just like, pa. Alright. Oh, the, the, alright, never mind. Let me retry that, let me retry that, I can do it again. Alright, so since the wind is going to the right, 4.8 meters, let's change it up, like, right here. Shit. Alright, so I need to add more force to it. Let's add more force. Ooh, all right, eagle. All right, all right. The other guy is definitely gonna get something else. Yeah, boogie. Oh shit, he mad. All right, Kiri-san, I have another question about your children, if you don't mind. How do they spend their free time? Well, we don't we don't, we don't have a computer or any games, so for the most part, they all play together outside. Damn. Okay. All the older kids really look after the younger ones, too. It's like we're one big family. That sounds lovely. Would it be alright if I paid you a visit sometime? Ooh, definitely. Of course, I'd be glad to have you. Nice. Making friends. Oh, we beat him? Alright, alright, cool. I mean, I did take lots of hooligans, so... Makes sense, but yeah. Look at Kiri over here. Alright. Alright, now what? I have to thank you for the match, Kirisan. Golf isn't much without an enjoyable conversation to go with it. I hope I'll have the chance to stop by any orf oh by any by your orphanage sometime soon, and I mean that sincerely. We'd love to have you. Perhaps there's even some way the city could support all the charitable work you do for these children. If you ever need anything, please feel free to give me a call. I'll do everything within my power to help you. I appreciate that, Kasaka-san. Farewell now. See you later. Oh, and before I forget, I signed you up in my permanent guest list, so you'll be free to visit the club whenever you please. Perhaps we'll even play sometime again. I hope so. Yeah, so we, we good to like play golf over here? Alright. We got the pass. That Akasaka pass out here. Alright. Nice. Akasaka had nothing but nice things to say about morning glory. I bet that'll make Shiro feel better. I guess so. Hopefully, although that wasn't our point for going with him, right? Or was it? 
on Morning Glory Station. Let's go. Damn. All right, we're gonna talk to Shiro now. That's kind of weird. Well, yeah, of course, but like after we just played golf with that guy, I don't remember. From what I remember, we were supposed to talk to him about something. Oh, he's here now already. All right. Oh, Akasaka-san. Good to see you again, Kiryu-san. Oh shit, alright. I told you I'd stop by, didn't I? Yeah, though I wasn't expecting it to be so soon. Haha, <laughs> 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 once an idea crosses my mind, I simply have to see it through as soon as possible. Tai Chi in the house. Alright, so they're coming out from school. Alright, Tai Chi though. <laughs> alright. Yo, Uncle Koss. Hey, you forgot to say hello to our guests. And take your shoes off before you go inside. Alright, who is this? Hi, Uncle Koz. Oh, that's Eddie. Alright. We're home. Izumi. Alright, cool. I don't remember her. You two have a good day at school? Mm-hmm. Oh, a guest. Hi, mister. Hi. Oh, and they, like, I mean, of course, right? Because they're, they're in Japan, but they got those, like, square-ass, like, backpacks that they, like, the kids wear. Like, damn, alright. Rudimentary backpacks over here. Alright. Hello there, kids. Come on, Izumi-chan. Okay. Haha, <laughs> such energetic kids. Alright. I'm home. Okay, we got a cutscene. Looks like things didn't turn out so well. Oh, shit. Yeah, but I'll get him next time. That's the spirit, young man. Who's he? A guest. Nice to meet you, mister. I'm sure. Look at Shiro, damn. Poor Shiro, what the fuck? It's a pleasure to meet you, too. Your manners are impeccable. Hey, you. Are you Kiryu? What the fuck? Oh my god, a teacher's here? What kind of parenting are you doing here? Look what your kid did this to, m to this poor boy. What are you thinking? Oh, Hashimoto-san. Good to see you. Oh, you already know who that is. Akasaka, Akasaka Sensei. All right. So these guys meeting each other. So this is the guy who, this is the kid who's bullying Shiro out here. Fuck. This bitch. All right, never mind. All right, what are you doing here? Truthfully, I've been wanting to pay this orphanage a visit for some time now. So of course, I didn't waste any time when Kiryu-san here invited me. I needed to see the children he clearly loves so much for himself. Or for myself, I mean, or, or never mind, I read that wrong. <laughs> Alright, they'll certainly grow into fine young adults. Is it the environment, or perhaps Kiryu-san's guiding hand? What's your secret? Honestly, I can't take much that much credit. They're already independent. I only step in when absolutely necessary. I see. You should take a page out of, the, out of his book, Hashimoto. Yes, sir. I agree. Hey, what about Shiro? He thinks he's better than all of us regular kids because he doesn't have parents. What? What the fuck? Alright, don't speak to him like that, young man. He didn't choose to be an orphan. None of these kids did. Of course. Like, what the fuck he, what is he saying that for? If you were really his friend, you would help him solve his problems, not make them worse. Whatever, you old fart. Damn, he's an uneducated bitch. Alright. Well, I never. I feel sorry for that boy's parents. Oh shit, if he knew. Though I'm sure being his teacher is hard enough, Hashimoto-sensei. Well, I should be going. <laughs> Damn. Uneducated chill. Damn, kid. Alright. I must say, Kirisan, it warms my heart to see how happy and healthy your children are. You have the full support of the city, I assure you. Definitely. Alright, cool. Alright, now what? Oh, okay, never mind. Haruka's here. Hi, Uncle, Uncle Kaz. Hey, Haruka. How was school? No. Good. Are the others back already? Yeah, they got home a while ago. Shiro too? I hope he's okay. Don't worry, Haruka. Shiro's gonna be just fine. Really? That's a relief. I was so worried when I heard he was getting bullied. But I'm glad everything's gonna be okay. Me too. Well, I'd better go get dinner started. Be careful with the knives. 
Wow, Haruka's so independent already. She's already making dinner for everybody. What? All right. All right. So now what? Come on, give it back. All right, Tai Chi's fighting. All right, I will just not yet. Sorry, Tai Chi. Sounds like Tai Chi and Ayako are up in arms over something. I better go take a look. All right. Just give me my money back. I don't have it right now. Can you wait until I get my allowance? But that's not till next week and the new Ninja Ra Ranger Rangers manga comes out today. All the kids at school are gonna read it before me. I'm sorry, Taichi. Damn. Ugh, oh, whatever. You better pay me back soon, liar face. Oh shit! Taichi out here? Kinda like bullying? His family over here? What the fuck? Let me talk to her. Is that Eddie? Why didn't you pay Taichi back, Ayako? Oh, that's Ayako. Alright. Did you lose the money or accidentally spend it? Mmm. Come on, this isn't like you. When you borrow something from someone, you have to make sure you give it back, alright? But, I, uh... Don't be afraid. You can tell me. Someone stole it. What? She's getting bullied too? Or, what? What? One of the other kids? Shit, are you sure? Maybe you just fell out of your pocket. No, I keep all my money in my wallet inside my bag. So whoever stole it must would have to know it was there. Damn. Alright, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. No! Ayako, we have to find out what happened. But... I'll go run up the others, wait for me in the dining room. Okay. So one of the kids? One of the... Like, one of her... Like, orphans over here? Like, stole the money? Alright, who's this? Hey, can you two go to the dining room for me? What's wrong, Uncle Koss? Nothing, really. We just need to have a family discussion about something. Damn. Oh, okay. Did something happen? Oh, that's Eddie. Okay, I'll tell you later. See you girls in the dining room. Okay. Okay, alright. I was just checking something, you guys. Alright, cool. Alright, stream going well. Alright, who else? Let me, let me go over there. There might be some kids over there playing. Gotta let them know that there's gonna be a family discussion happening. Alright, yeah. Got Shiro and the others. <clears throat> Koji. <laughs> what were they doing? What? Alright, Uncle Koz, what's up? <laughs> Can you three go and wait for me in the dining room? Isn't it kind of early for dinner? We're gonna have a house meeting. Why? What happened? You'll know soon enough. Just go wait for me, okay? Alright. Come on. Damn, so are we gonna do like a... Sort of like a detective type of thing? We're gonna talk to like... What, like... The, the kids individually and stuff? Cause that's what I'm feeling is gonna happen. But we'll see. Like, damn, alright. Alright, who else is here? Alright. We talked to her. Ayako, right? Yeah. Get her in the dining room. Alright. Okay. Alright, we got her going. Look at her walking. <laughs> Uh, even Kyrgyz out here. Look at my man. All right. All right. Who else is here? Haruka. What if it was Haruka? We're not excluding Haruka. Where's Haruka at? She's making dinner, but where's the kitchen? Wait, wait, what? What is this? Oh, that's a safe room. All right. Cool to know. So there's two ways to enter the safe room or the... Okay. All right, we got everybody. I'm trying to see the layout of the the place. Damn. All right, so it does have a, so, a sort of layout over here. All right, Haruka's over there in the kitchen. Let's talk to her. All right, Haruka. All right, I never been to this kitchen before. Actually, like actually like walking and stuff. So let me check it out. We got dinner. We got what? We got we got some food over here. We got everything. We good. We got chips. All right. Where have you been, Uncle Koss? We're supposed to be getting dinner ready. Looks like dinner's gonna have to wait. Oh, shit. Huh? Why? Ayaka's money has gone missing. Huh? Do you think someone stole it? Sounds like it. One day it was in her wallet, the next it was gone. That's awful. 
Anyway, we're gonna meet in the diner room. I want you there, though. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Haruka? Alright, she's been walking. Like, Alright. Alright, everybody good? We got everybody. I feel like one kid's missing, though. There should be one more kid here. And one over there. What? Maybe I'm missing two kids, I feel. Where are they at? Oh, right there. Tai Chi. Oh my god, yeah, Tai Chi. What is Tai Chi doing here, though? What? Uncle Kaz, you gotta help. I gave Ayako some money, but she's not giving it back. I know. I heard you two arguing earlier. Then why wouldn't you do something? I am. Go wait in the dining room. All of us are gonna have to t uh, talk about what's going on here. What do you mean? It looks like someone stole the money from Oyaku. Huh? Like, someone here? Bruh. I'm not sure yet. That's why I want to have this meeting. Just wait for me in the dining room, okay? Yeah. So th does that mean he did it, though? Because <laughs> he's like, someone here? Bruh. Alright, who is this? I thought that was a kid for a second. I don't get all of this talk of building a resort. What's so great about Okinawa? Our friend of mine almost went over to the mainland and he says that the ocean there is really dirty. Nothing like the sparkling blue of our beaches. Really? But don't people go swimming during the summer? That's because they don't know any better. Nobody who's ever been to Okinawa could stand to swim in that sludge. Huh. I guess that's why everybody comes to get vacation here. Alright, good to know. Okinawa's pretty exotic over here. Pretty, pretty good spot to like, you know. Alright, we need one more kid though, right? I think like there's one kid missing. Because look at the dining room. There's one more spot there for someone else. Who is that one kid we're forgetting? We got Tai Chi. Huh. Maybe he's right here. Let me see. Can I open that door over there? Alright, we'll see. Leave! Wow, you can go over here? Alright. Wow. We don't got anybody here. Alright, cool. Alright, so no one was over there. Let me go outside one more time. We'll see if we find the kid. Cause look, yeah. I mean, it's pretty evident that there's a spot missing there for someone. I can't go there. Where's the last kid at? Maybe they're hiding. Right here? No. Let me talk to this guy. Good seeing you, Kirisan. Got a burning question to ask. This new military base they keep going on about. Yeah or nay? Alright, what does Kiryu think? Wow, you, you actually choose for Kiryu? Wow. Alright, Kiryu getting political here. Oh shit. Alright. So, honestly, supported against it. Oh shit. <laughs> All right, uh, I don't really care either way. We gotta, we gotta solve something about it. The fact that they're using Okinawa to do their shit, like a resort or or, or a military base, I don't care. They're they're taking up our spot. They're gonna take out our place. You know, that's the only thing that matters here. Hmm. You may think you can opt out of this conversation because you're from the mainland, but think about the poor children you've taken under your wing. What happens now will unquestionably impact their futures, their children's futures, their children's children's future and beyond. It's a responsibility as upsetting adults to set a good example for them, to ensure the world that you, that you heard from us is a world from worth living in. What? I mean, I, I, I actually thought Kiryu was going to be like, I don't care either way, they're going to do something with, with our place. We can't just let them do something for to our place, right? Because we got this thing. Now they're gonna build a resort and military. I mean, you know what I mean. Alright. 
What are you going to do with about the eviction? My husband says he doesn't care how much money they offer us. He's not going to leave his childhood home. Oh, we heard about this though. Mine too. He, we don't want to be moving at our age. I couldn't live in some big apartment building where you don't even know your own neighbors. You hear about Kumisan? He agreed to sell his house. Okay, we heard about this. He says he's taking his opportunity. Okay. Yeah, we know this. All right. Uh, then we just go inside and, st and start the conversation then, I guess. Or are they really going to tell me that there's someone missing? You know what? Let me just open this real quick just to see. Alright, no one's here. Alright, cool. Alright, can I talk to anyone? It is not letting me, so there is indeed someone missing. Who am I missing then? What? Can I go inside that door? There's not a door here. Who is missing then? What? We got a kid lost over here. What? Missing child. Alright, can we open these? No. Alright, we good. What about this? Oh, okay. Oh, we found you finally. Oh my god. Riona. What's up, Uncle Koss? There's something we need to talk about. Wait for me in the dining room, okay? Okay, so that's Riona. Alright. <laughs> Okie dokie. Wow. Alright. Well, that's everyone. Time to find out what happened. Alright. Do we have anything to do here? Alright, we good. Riona, though. Riona was kind of hiding over here. Damn. Alright. Alright, we're ready. Alright, let's go. Let's go. What's gonna happen here? Cutscene? Alright. And that's pretty much all we know. Okay, they skipped everything. Alright. Ayako's really worried. And rightfully so. The money got taken right off her, out of her wallet. After all. Now, I don't like doing this any more than you do. But if one of you stole the money, I need you to speak up. Alright. Nobody? Ayako, when did you first notice it was gone? Uh, I think it was two days ago. Alright then. Did any of you notice anything weird going on? Were there any strangers hanging around or anything? Uh, I think I saw something. Alright, Koji? Riona was digging around in Ayako's bag. Oh, Riona? Alright. Ayako-chan said I could borrow her paint, so I was getting it out of her bag. You don't think I stole the money, do you, Uncle Koss? Of course not. Now that I think about it, didn't Mitsuo just buy a new model set? It's a pretty fancy one too. Kind of suspicious timing, don't you think? Well, Mitsuo, how do you get the money for something like that? Huh? I saved up for weeks, that's how. I didn't do anything wrong, Uncle Koss. I even stopped buying snacks so I could save up quicker. Alright, besides, don't they say the first guy to speak up is usually the one who did it? What was that? Oh shit, we're getting- we're, no, 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 we're gonna make the fight like that. You hurt me. Stop it, you two. Let's go, Haruka. Show him. What? Uncle Koss, what do we do? Alright, we're done here. This was clearly a mistake. But somebody stole the money, right? Well, maybe it wasn't any of you guys. Yeah, he's right. Wait, Tai Chi. Look, we're not gonna keep sitting here flinging accusations at each other. That's not what being a family is about. Yeah. But I'll say it again. If one of you did take the money, you can come talk to me whenever you want. I won't tell the others. Alright. Carry you out here with the methods. The only thing that accomplished was making everyone doubt each other. Although, we'd be missing a lot more than a Yaku's money if the thief have, gone, have come from outside. So as much as I hate to admit it, one of the kids must have stolen it. I guess the only option now is looking through their things. Damn. Damn, Kiryu pissing everything together out here. Now we're gonna go over there with your private stuff. Oh wait, what? What? Eddie? What were you doing here, Eddie? Oh shit. Um, nothing. 
Really? That's Ayako's bag, right? You know you can't dig around in there without her permission. Damn, come on. Just tell me what you were doing. Or is there a reason you don't want to say? You're wrong. Whoa, what? There's definitely something we don't know. Alright, Ayako, Uncle Kass, what's wrong with Eddie? I found her looking through your bag. Huh? Oh shit. What she got? Huh? Is something else missing? Nah. Actually, the money's back in my wallet. So Eddie did s steal the money? What? But she returned it, so that's good. What? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing, right? Eddie. Alright. Where is she at? She went outside. She's probably over there by the river. Well, not the river, the ocean, pretty much. Damn, Eddie out here doing the good shit. All right. All right, Eddie. It's time you told me what's going on. I'm sorry, Uncle Koss. I'm really, really sorry. So it was you. I promised my friends I'd go to the movies with them, but I didn't have any money. Then why'd you promise? I never get to do stuff with them. They have real parents, so they get way more allowance than I do. And you have nine of us to take care of, so I can't ask for more. My friends know I can't afford a lot, so they never ask me to do stuff with them. So when they asked me to go to the movies, I was really happy. I couldn't say no to that, so I just took the money. I was gonna give it back next time I got my allowance, I swear. But uh, I'm sorry, Uncle Koss. I'm glad you were planning to pay her back, but you can't borrow something that's not yours without asking first. That's stealing. I know. But you gave the money back, and now you've confessed, too. That's really brave of you. Damn. The next step now is apologizing to Ayako. Then you can do that for me, Eddie? But I made everyone so mad, nobody's gonna forgive me, especially not Ayako. Of course they're gonna forgive you. I mean, if you explain what happened, you know, it'll all be good. I mean, it's not like you did anything too bad. Eddie-chan. Go on, show me how brave you can be. Alright, Eddie. Damn. Damn. It's okay, and I'm sorry too. Huh? Why are you apologizing, Ayako chan? To be honest, I saw you take the money from the, my bag, Eddie chan. I knew it was you. What? But even still, I couldn't bring myself to stop you, even though it was, it was the right thing to do. Damn. Now seeing what you're going through, I really wish I had. If only I could take it back. Damn. She was covering her, like, damn, alright. I'm supposed to be your sister, but I wasn't brave enough to stop you. Damn. If I just had a little courage, none of this would have never happened. So... I'm sorry. Will you ever forgive me? I'm sorry too. Damn. Alright, here we're happy over here. Knowing he's teaching life lessons over here. Alright. Damn. Damn, Kiryu. you. Alright, come on you two. Let's get back inside. Huh? What's wrong? Um... Everyone's so angry. I wonder what they're gonna do when they find out Eri took the money. I mean, Koji and Riona are already fighting. What do we do, Uncle Koss? Um... Everyone's gonna hate me. Not at all. Nobody's gonna hate anyone. I'll tell you what, leave the talking to me. What I need you two to do is... Wait, what? Got it? Uh-huh. I'm so sorry, Uncle Koss. Come on, let's get everyone in the dining room. Okay. I'll go round them up. Me too. 
All right. Let's go. Let's see what's up. I don't even know what what is gonna happen actually because Kiryu was like, he like that it wouldn't like let me see what what Kiryu saw too. We'll see. What's happening here? All right. Listen up. We got a Yakus money back. Really? Do you know who the thief is? Not so fast. I actually have to apologize to all of you. Huh? Why? Well, Eddie came to me yesterday saying she found some money, but I guess it slipped my mind today. Seriously, Eddie. Where'd you find it? Uh, in the yard. And how much was it? 1,000 yen. Which is, which is exactly how much you were missing, right, Ayako? Yeah. Meaning there's a good chance the money Eddie found yesterday is the same money that went missing from Yako's bag. There's no other possibility. Don't you guys think? Hmm, I guess. Sounds about right to me. So then nobody stole the money. What was I getting blamed for it? I'm sorry, Mitsuo. All of this could have been avoided if I had just remembered sooner. Damn, everyone, I'm really sorry. Sorry it's not good enough. Oh shit. Yeah, I got called a thief. Damn. Yeah, me too. Hold on, guys. Wait, I'm the one who dropped the money. So if you're gonna get mad at anyone, get mad at me. I I should have said something sooner, too. I'm really sorry, everyone. What? So they switched it up? Alright. See, Uncle Cos was just a little forgetful. I think we should be glad none of us turn out to be thieves. Yeah, I guess. Sorry, Riona. Don't worry about it. And I'm sorry for suspecting you, Mitsuo. Uh, whatever. Damn. I probably deserved it for how I treated Koji. Damn. Hey, it's all in the past now. Alright. I see, I see. Oh shit, they're calling me. Alright, let me let me take this call over here. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, I'm back. Sorry, I was getting called. We'll be good now. Alright. Alright, you guys listen to me, let me see. Alright, we good. I was just checking the stream. We out here. Alright, YouTube. Alright, we good. Alright. <laughs> I wanna E2. Me 3. Oh yeah. We totally forgot about dinner. Yeah, we haven't done dinner. Everybody's starving over here. Let's get moving. Make it snappy, Uncle Koss. Damn. Huh, try not to eat the table while we're gone. Actually, why don't you all go play outside while we cook? We'll come get you when it's ready. Okay. Alright, the kids. Alright, we good so far? Haruka? Well, I guess we better get started. Right. Alright, now we're gonna cook dinner over here. Alright, nice. Alright, now what's up? Alright, afternoon? Damn, it is afternoon. Let me talk to Haruka. Uncle Koss, Uncle Koss! Alright, Taichi. What's wrong, Taichi? It's that guy with the curly hair. I just saw him again. Are you sure? Yeah, he's in the blue truck, probably spying on us again. It's definitely him. Alright, I'll handle it. Make sure everyone gets inside. Okay. Alright, we're gonna talk to... Uh, what was his name? She Nikia or something? Alright. I'm gonna go take a look outside. Think you can handle dinner while I'm gone, Haruka? Of course. Be careful, Uncle Koss. I'll be fine. Don't worry. But if I'm not back in time for dinner, you guys can start without me. Okay. Damn, I'm even smelling the food myself. Damn. I definitely am uh, hungry too. Alright. Alright, we got the kids playing. So we got the, the truck over here? Where's the truck at? I don't see any truck. I don't see no truck. Where is that one? Is that the truck? I don't see him, but I can't he head downtown just yet. Not before I find those Rudo guys. So they're not here? I mean, Taichi just said... What? I don't see him anywhere. Maybe Taichi was wrong? Yeah, so Taichi was lying to us? What happened there? Taichi, where are you? What? A, uh... Oh, Rikia. What? 
Back again? My answer is final. Nah. That's not why I'm here. Huh? Then what is it? Well, Anarchy... I kind of need to ask you a favor. Anarchy? Calling us Anarchy already? What? What the heck? What kind of favor are we talking? It's gotta do with the little lady. It's gotta do with the little lady. You mean the girl with the sketchbook? That's right. Two nights ago, she just disappeared. Nobody knows where she could have gone. You think she ran away? Don't know. We got men searching the streets and all, but they haven't found so much as a trace of her yet. And have you gone to the police? Well, not exactly. Why not? You should file a missing persons report. Yeah. I don't know that we really can. What do you mean? Damn. Well, the truth of it is, she's the daughter of a guy the boss used to be do business with. Now the boss is taking care of the girl. Yeah. But he never officially adopted her. If the cops found out about that, they ship her back to their parents, no questions asked. What? And we don't want that? I mean, yeah. Right. Saki-san's parents are real scum of the earth, let me tell you. Her dad gambles all their money away and then son then would come home stinking of booze and beat the daylights out of the girl and her mom. Damn, alright. Her mom, on the other hand, was always sleeping around. Acted like she didn't want a damn thing to do with her. Damn. Alright, so then Nakahara took Saki in to protect her. Yep. Alright, now I see. Three years back, we got asked to collect on her dad's gambling debt. So the boss went over to their whole house <laughs> when, we, when we, he walked inside. What happened? He found the guy dead, hanging blue face from a rope in their living room. Whoa. Saki-san still clutching his lifeless leg. What the fuck? And her mom? Probably off with one of her fuckboys. Damn. Alright. Lady never gave a single shit about Saki-san. Which is why Nakahara took her in. Yep. The boss looks scary, sure. But he's got a good heart. It just wasn't in in him to leave Saki-san like that. And yeah, he complained at first about how much trouble they was raising a kid, but it wasn't long till he ended up a proud father. Alright. Now he treats Saki-chan like she's in his own flesh and blood. That's amazing. Yep, but word has it her mom's back in town, that she wants to take Saki-san back. Why? After all this time? Beats me. Probably so she can have a maid to do all the housework while she goes out and parties. Anyway, the boss has been trying to keep the little lady in the office so her mom wouldn't be able to find her. Which is why she was there and when I stopped by. Yep, and now that she's missing, the boss is real worried. Saki's not a child anymore though. Couldn't she just call him if she needed to? Call him? Not a chance in hell. Why not? The girl's mute. Whoa. So that's why she draws? Alright. What? The doctor said it's some kind of mental block. Probably from watching her dad hang himself right in front of her. Damn, that's fucked up. So she's kind of like Makoro in a sense. But she, instead of being blind, she's kind of mute. Damn. So you see, she can't call us. And that's why she has the sketchbook, yeah. Come on, Aniki. We gotta find her as soon as possible. Please, we gotta find her, indeed. Alright. What do you need me to do? Well, with Saki-san gone and all, the boss is kinda losing it. So we need some help pulling him back. Takes talks and sense into him. Why me? Because you were the only one who could do it? The boss took a shine to you the moment you stepped foot in your office. You're the only reason he'll listen to us. Stop right there. What are you getting at here? It's all Aniki this and Aniki that. <laughs> I mean... It's got you're my Aniki though. You're the captain of the Rudo family. It's nothing to you, especially not your Aniki. That's what I was saying. <laughs> Let's talk about this later. <laughs> no, I can't have a Yakuza talk to me like that. What would my kids think? Come on, just let it slide. I respect your strength, that's all. Don't you see? You're my Aniki, Aniki. Wow. 
Anyway, I'm gonna go pull the car around. See you soon, Aniki. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Damn. So he is indeed trying to be our, you know, our buddy over here. We pals over here now. Trying to be friends with us and shit. Damn. All right. Nishida? Nishida? Nikiya? Rikiya! Alright! Alright, alright. Alright, we're gonna have to walk from here, Aniki. I don't remember agreeing to this. Well, I've come this far. Might as well see it through. Let's get moving, Aniki. <laughs> alright, alright. Alright. Damn. Alright, we never visited this place before. Well, yeah, but... We're, like, walking and stuff. Okay, damn. Interiors? Alright. Alright, everything good so far? Alright, we good. Let me talk to this guy over here. Caught myself a big fish today, so I'm treating myself with a glass of tanka... Well, tantakatan. Tanka... Tankatatan. Alright. Ooh, I've heard of that. That's a perilla stuff, right? I could go for a cup of that right now with some karaj and fresh sashimi. Hmm. Now that's a good idea. Right there. Then... That tantakatan stuff is so tasty. You can down a bottle in a couple minutes. My daughter's a fan too. She just got to the drinking age and she just loves making cocktails and takakata and fruit juice. <laughs> drink me your daughter? Well, doesn't that sound peachy? I just drink that stuff alone. Though maybe I could get the wife to drink it with me. Alright. I should remember this when I'm over at a cabaret club. Alright. Alright, good to know. Damn, look at this place though. Alright. Looks nice, looks familiar. Alright. Well, to me, of course. <laughs> Alright, it's over there, though. Shit, alright. Oh, shit, the cars? Alright, what? Welcome, sir. Can I help you find something today? Oh, wow, we can buy stuff here. Alright. A lot of, uh... Alright, good to know. So, liquor, huh? Alright, what? What do we... Whoa. Wait, can we level up? I feel like we can. Wait, wait, wait. We got five of those. Oh, we can't level up anything. Wait, we can only pick one? Oh, two solo abilities. Alright, that's cool. So you, so you can actually learn more than one ability. Alright, that's cool. Uh, we haven't fought anybody yet, so... Or gotten any XP, so... Alright, we can't go over there. Alright, so we're supposed to go over here? North Public Market. Right here. Alright. Better get this going. Alright, we got this guy. Alright, what he doing? Gonna... What? Yeah. Cap. Kiryu Anaki. <laughs> what? Where's the boss? Inside. Got all sussed up on Awamori. So he's not in the best of moods. Really? He's drunk? Alright, that doesn't paint a good picture. Oh, shit, he's throwing shit and stuff. Bruh. Alright. What is going on here? Look at this guy. God damn it. The hell am I gonna do? Damn, this guy. Oh, well, if it ain't curious, son. Alright. Alright, what's happening here? Hey there, you're not looking so hot. Alright, we gonna have a talk? Alright. What do you want this time? Sorry, but I'm not in the mood to talk about your little land problem. It's not that, uh, that's not about that. Alright, Rikia told me what's going on with Saki. Ugh, oh, that's Rikia for ya. Never knows when to keep his damn mouth shut. This ain't your problem, Kiryu-san. Why don't you go look for her? Can't. Wouldn't be so miserable if it was that easy. What do you mean? She ran away because she didn't want to live with me anymore. I just scare her off if I went hunting for her now. Damn, really? You don't know that for sure. Why don't you try to figure it out why she really ran away? It wouldn't be too late to catch up to her if you if you go now. Rikia told me Saki's mom has been out looking for her recently. Maybe Saki just wanted to see her again after all this time. Same difference. 
either she wants to be with her mom or she doesn't want to be with me. God damn it. Am I really worse than that miserable whore? Nakahara. I guess a Yakuza like me doesn't have any business taking in a kid in the first place, huh? That's not true. All children need is someone who really, truly cares about them. It doesn't matter what you do for a living. Damn. The hell do you now? Or the hell do you know? You think you're some kind of kid expert just because you, you run a fucking orphanage? I know enough. I was an orphan myself. Huh? Not only that, the man who raised me was in the Yakuza. And since I have no memories of my birth parents, that man is more of a father than I've ever had. He might have been a Yakuza. Yeah, but I loved him all the same. Damn. And I'm sure Saki loves you too. But it's, it's natural for her to miss her mom. She's still just a kid after all. I mean, that's true. You, you really think? Of course. Now get out there and find her before someone else does. But... You got to. I can't. Why not? Look at me, Kirisan. Why would Saki ever want to come back to this mess after seeing her mother? A thug like me could never compare to an actual parent. Don't say that. I'm just gonna have to face the facts. Saki's gone. You really think so? Yeah, I do. Huh. He's not really trying to, like, get sense over here. Alright, fine then. Alright, I'll go talk to Saki myself. The hell are you doing? Same thing you did three years ago. She needs help now more than ever, and I'm not about to let her down. Damn. Hold on there. If you think this will change my mind about the land, don't worry. I just want to get Saki home safe. The land has nothing to do with it. That's a conversation for another time. Saki is the only thing I'm thinking about right now. Damn. You. And I'll be borrowing one of your boys. Damn. Let's go, Rikia. Oh, shit. Damn, Rikia out here trying to... All right. All right. We got, we got my boy Rikia with us. All right. Rikia. Who's the other guy's... I don't remember his name. All right, we got to find Saki. Thanks for talking to him, not Enaki. But if we're really going to look for Saki, I don't have the slimmest idea of where to start. And we'll just have to ask around. We can focus on the area right around the office for now. But we already combed every look, last nook and cranny. Nobody's seen her. And you don't know where her mom lives? Nope. Sorry to say. Is there anywhere you haven't looked? Nowhere she'd be likely to turn up. Only stone left and turn is Hatsumashi. Hatsumashi? Why haven't you checked there? Place is the biggest red light district on the island. Chalk full of hostesses clubs, brothels, all sorts of smut of kids not gonna go anywhere near. Besides, what? It's Tamashiro family turf. Things get real hairy real fast if we showed our faces over there. <laughs> Kiri's just like, fuck that, we're going. Then it's settled, we're going to Hasumashi, yeah. But Anaki, I just told you. Hasumashi's- shut up. We, we've done more more fucked up shit before. We good. Just a family? Another one? Alright, the only place you haven't looked? I don't care whose turf it is, we're going. Well, you're welcome to stay behind if you think the Tashimiro are really that scary. The Tamashiro. Like hell that's gonna happen, I'm coming, Aniki. Good. Now let's go. Alright. Alright, Rikiya out here, kinda scared a little bit, but now we got him to do it. Let's go. <laughs> really, Rikiya? Alright, Rukiya's our, our, our man over here. Or pal. Alright, where's even Hatsumashi at? <laughs> Damn, we're going through the street. Alright. Alright, Hatsumashi. I feel like we're gonna have to go through the stairs over there. It's, oh, no, I mean, Rukiya. Oh, thank God it's you. Something terrible's happened. Oh, shit, the lady. Alright. Alright, alright. Calm down and tell me what's going on. It's Saki-chan. Huh? What about her? I... I saw her in Hatsumashi with some woman I'd never seen before. Something felt real off about the whole thing. And you're sure it was her? Oh, well, if it isn't the dashing young fella from before. 
This must be fate. <laughs> you see how Kiryu just kind of like wrapped his hair, bro? <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right. Come on. We just don't got time for the hopeless fl flirting. Let's try and focus. Where do you see Saki? Coming out of the convenience store where they're at the intersection with some woman who was absolutely dressed to the nines. I wonder who she was. Maybe Saki's mother. That could be it. Then you really think she went back? Hard to say. The only way to know for sure is to find her and ask. I guess. By the way, Rikiya, you're gonna have a party tonight? <laughs> what? A party? Aw, oh, shit. It's the boss's birthday. What? I never... I, well, I've been so distracted, it totally slipped my mind. He's not gonna be in my any mood for celebration if we can't find Saki, though. Then we're not doing ourselves any favors by standing around. Come on, let's go. Right. We gotta bring her back. Even if it's just for today. Let's move, Anaki. Alright, we gotta go over there and find Saki. She could be in danger out here. No way we're gonna let her. Alright. But now we can go over here. Oh, it's, it's not here. We gotta go forward. Damn, so this place it is, it is kinda like... Big, a little bit. Damn. Okay, that's Hasumashi. We've never been here before. Oh, shit. Why the fuck are you glaring at us like that, bro? You want me to fucking deck you? Ooh, we fighting now. Got the Yakuza. Ooh, we got to open? Damn. Oh, shit. Damn, we opening the fight like this? Nice. Oh shit! I was kind of imagining that was gonna happen, but not like that. It, like it actually did. All right. All right. These guys blocking. All right. Let's go. Nice. Oh shit! All right. All right. Let me grab this dude. All right. He good. Let me get this knife. Nice. 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 Easy work out over here. You see that shit? Fucking Kira just destroy that glass over there? Shit. Oof. Alright. You really pack a punch. Alright, of course we do. I'm just gonna overlook this one. You got a speedy toughness ZZ. Alright. My man out here. Alright, right, we doing good? All right, let's go, Anaki. <laughs> All right, you there. In the kids, kids cheat shirt. Huh? Oh, shit. Who is this? The family? Who are you? Me? Who the fuck are you? Don't tell me you didn't know you're waddling all over Tamashiro family territory right now. Tamashiro? Sorry, never heard of them. I actually try to keep my nose out of Yakuza business. Bullshit. It's clear as a damn Okinawa sky what you do for a living. I'm telling the truth. And even if I was a Yakuza, I'm not here looking for trouble. Now I suggest you leave us alone. Or else... Wait. Is that your key back there? Your little game of hide and seek is not gonna work on me, Rudo hassle. Aw, oh, shit. <laughs> I knew it. Not Yakuza, my ass. If you're wearing Yakuza, you wouldn't be spending your time with this Rudo sap. You here to try and take the brat back? Huh? What, Brad? I don't got time for the 20 questions, bitch. Come on, boys. Let's show him what we, we do to the trespassers. Alright. Fighting these guys, too? Oh, so now these guys are the real deal, I guess. They even got their own title and shit. Oh, we got a big one? Alright. Alright, fat Tomashiro. Alright, let's get this guy. Nice, Rikia. Oh shit. Alright, we can't hold this guy. Damn, Rikia going fast. Nice. Ooh. Can I grab one of these guys? Oh, oh it doesn't let he doesn't even let, let him like grab me from like grab him from the back. Let me drive this guy. Nice. Nice. Damn. Leveled up. Nice. 
Hey, blocky, yeah? Nice. Oh shit, alright. Oh shit! Alright, now we can do that. Nice. Grab this dude. Nice. Ooh, double. Alright, now we got the fat guy over here. Matsunaga. Nice. Damn! That's some shit right there. Alright, now we could kind of like just change the levels up. The volume levels. Alright. Shit, this guy really eats his spinach, huh? <laughs> Bruh. So you're ready to talk now? Tell me about this brat you mentioned. Ugh. You listening, punk? Open your mouth or I'll open it for you. Now, did you kidnap Saki or not, huh? Look, we didn't take nobody. Some bitch claiming to be the girl's mother brought her in. What could her mother possibly have to do with the Tamashiro? Duh, the tram's sleeping with the boss. Oh shit, probably doesn't realize she's just another notch on the bedpost for him. In other words, you have no reason to keep Saki. Give her back. Look, we don't have her in the cage or nothing. She and her mom could be anywhere. Huh, I think there's more to this than you're letting on. Maybe we should go pay your boss a little visit. Damn. Rikia, where's the Tomashiro office? Are you out of your mind, Aniki? We can't go in there, just the two of us. We definitely can. Hey, your boy's right. They're gonna tear you limb from limb in there. But if you really want to die, I'll tell you. It's on the street behind the convenience store. <laughs> Alright, you heard the man, Yukiya. Come on. But Aniki. Damn, we're doing this shit. Alright, so over here. About to go find Saki. Wait, what? Hey, who is this? Don't ignore me, asshole. I'll teach you what happens when you walk past me and don't say shit. Really? Really? Because of that? Alright. Ooh, another one? Damn, now we got like little cutscenes to open up the, the battle? I like that. Get this guy. Let me grab him. No way you're gonna block my attacks. Damn. Alright, who else? Oh, this guy, huh? Grab you. Easy. Alright, grabbing is definitely much better now in this game. Ugh. Sorry. Alright, now you're apologizing, huh? Here. Guess you taught me something today. Alright, slick 5,000 yen. Alright, alright, for the kids over here. Well, that guy kind of looked like someone. Alright, looks like this is the place. I mean, yeah. But we're not really gonna walk in there by ourselves, are we? They'll pulverize us. What? You scared? Me? I'm not scared of a damn thing. I put my life in the line if you ask me to, Aniki. Like that? Holy shit, Rikia, what the fuck? Wait, that's... Saki's sketchbook. This drawing is... Something wrong, Anaki? We're definitely on the right track, Rikia. Saki has to be here. I knew it. I want you to go get Nakahara and tell him we found her. And bring him back with you. Um, okay. What about you, Anaki? Just go. I'll keep an eye on things here. Okay. Be back in a jiff. <laughs> Looking Ricky, yeah, so fucking funny. All right, well, time to head in. My man Ricky, yeah, though, I, I really like this guy. Wait, what the fuck? Who is this? Oh, I'm sorry, fidgety man. Another one of Tomashiro's grunts, huh? Do I need to teach you a lesson too? Wait, please. Just look at me. Do I seem like a yakuza to you? Hmm. Not at all. You have a point. But you do look familiar. Anyway, if you're not with the Tomashiro, what are you doing walking into their office? Well, I have a uh, deal to make with them. You know how it is. I mean, you're obviously Yakuza. <laughs> but not anymore. I'm not. I'm just here to take care of some business. Oh. Well, I'm Kamiyama. What's your name? It's Kiryu. 
Kiryu-san. Why does it feel like I know that name? Anyway, I deal in certain... choice items. They've been in high demand lately, if I do say so myself. It sounds like the Tamashita are going to war soon, so they asked me to bring some of the, my stuff over. And let me guess, by stuff you mean weapons? You don't have to scream. The whole town's gonna hear. But if you're gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Tamashiro, I might be able to lend a hand if you catch my drift. Alright, I thought they were one of your customers. Well, yeah, but they're one of my customers you wish you could get rid of, but can't because they paid my rent. Though if you started buying from me and wiped them out, I could finally be free from their clutches. Hold on a second. I never said a word about wiping anyone out. No need to be coy about it. I've been in this business for a long time. Ripped guys like you are the brawling type, it's obvious. You've probably been in more fights than I could count. That's true. Either way, wouldn't you rather have a weapon on you when you bust in there better than going in empty handed? I guess. Then it's settled. I know the perfect store that can get you just the fix you need. That truck? That it's there. Not much for appearances. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Just come with me. Alright. Getting that weapons deal going. Holy shit! Damn, they have all of that in that. Alright. This is the only shop in town that sells that kind of underhanded stuff you're looking for. This guy here is an associate of mine. It's, uh... Hmm. Quite a setup. Hey, don't knock mobility. Anything that can help you get away from the fuzz is a positive in my book. Right. I take in... I take it this is your store then. Oh, heavens no. This one's all handed by my pal here. Alright. He's the main one then. My own shop is up in the second floor of a building near the Rudo office. That's where I sell gear and mod stuff too. Near the Rudo office, huh? Okay. I wish I could just give you everything you need to crush the Tamashiro, but remember I'm running a business here. Let me see. Here, this should get your engine started. Extendable staff. Nice, alright, so they give us weapons. Equip weapons, armor, and accessories by selecting the items option in the pause menu. Alright, take out any equipped weapon by pressing the D-pad. Alright, armor and accessories will have no effect unless you remember to equip them. Alright, this should come in handy. Thanks, Kamiyama. <laughs> oh, it's not problem at all. That's one of our most popular items. Oh, I remember that weapons will break as you use them. If that ever happens, just bring it up to my shop and I'll fix it up for you for in no time flat. Though, don't expect me to work for free. Free or not, that's a pretty good deal. By the way, you guys have a lot of weapons I've never even seen before. It's incredible. Oh, have her wares caught your eye? I know a guy who can teach you how to use them if you want. Don't tell me Komaki. No, it's probably not Komaki. A weapons ex expert, huh? Yes, yes. I'll mention you to him. I'm sure he'd be thrilled to have a student as beefy as you. Oh, and just hold there. And just holler if you need anything else. I'll help you as much as humanly can. After all, the Tamashiro will come for my legs, maybe more, if you fail. Let's hope I don't fail then. Yeah. Feel free to stop by my shop when you have the time. I will. Thanks, Kamiyama. Alright, Kamiyama seems like a good guy over here. So we're definitely gonna buy some weapons. Let me check out the weapons though. That's why we are here after all, right? Weapons either. He's even got like a laptop and shit. Damn. AK food set. Alright. Can I what can I do for you today? Let me see your, your items. Sure thing. We got a white selection, see for yourself. Alright, modified lighter. Army knife, stun gun, wooden katana, extendable staff. That's that's quite expensive, all right. Chain mail, battle mail, iron be breastplate. Oh, that's that's the only thing they got. All right. Mm. I feel like getting the wooden katana, but we already got a weapon, so we good. What can I sell though? Can I sell anything? Okio Bell. Nah, we good. Alright, let's keep it going. Alright. We'll do fine with that uh, stick. But alright, we, we're about to go with the Tamashiro. Let me see. 
Oh, upgrade. Mm -hmm. What should I upgrade? Body. Um. Heat. Soul. First level in the art balance. Maximum limit. A lot of style fist attack that employs both body and soul. Tech seems really nice though because you, you learn new abilities. Um, but we don't we don't have enough though. All right, cool. White Tiger Spirit. Taunt enemies with the spirit of the White Tiger to boost morale and increase your heat gauge. All right. Wait, what else? All right, cool. We're putting in the staff over here. Now right, we're ready. Yeah, it's about to get brutal. Oh, we got a cutscene. Saki. Uh, look at these guys. Oh shit, this, look at these guys' eyes. You, do it, you lost, little rooter boy. Saki we're Saki. <laughs> you mean the brat? Damn. She's up with the boss. But the only way you're getting up there... Is in a body bag. Oh, how funny. I don't have time for this. No way. Well, someone's got balls. Look at these guys, really? Weapons as well? Go on, boys. Tear him a new one. See? And they got weapons? So these guys, like, use weapons a lot? That's what, and, and then... Alright. You know what I got here? Fucking staff over here. Holy shit. Nice. Alright. Alright. We're working the staff up. Nice. Nice. Alright. Let me get these guys. Alright. Alright. This got a lot of durability. I like it. Oh shit! Okay, they're getting me with those weapons. My heat went out. Alright. Oh, it went out. Alright. Shit. Damn, are they dashing? Oh shit! Alright. Let me throw this guy. Nice. Alright, we got items here. Really? Let me grab this guy. Nice. Really? Ah, oh, shit. Really? Not my heat? Grab this dude. Nice. Ah, oh, shit. Alright. Damn, getting us with the bat. Grab him. Nice. Nice, alright. Alright, who else is coming? Can we use his bat? Yes, we can. Alright, who was... Oh, nobody? Alright. Items blocking your path will flash white to indicate they can be broken. Get through them the one way you know how. With your fists. Of course. Alright. Yeah, we got the music popping. Alright. Please batten. Alright. String going well? Alright, we good. And the animation we we familiar to. Nice. Alright, what this guy got... What is that? Like a bottle? Let me grab this guy. Get this dude. Nice. 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 Alright, grab this way. Nice. Ooh, bottle. Really? Get him right there. Damn! Woo! Alright. Holy shit, Kiri. Alright. Alright, nice. Oh, Stammy Man? Alright. This is about to get real cool. Alright. QT. Damn! Katana? You got a katana, boy? Yes, he does have a katana. Alright. I want to use that, so let me get you first. All right, let me use that katana. 
Let me use that katana. Oh, mine now. Oh, shit. Nice. He, he's definitely using it nicely. Damn. Oh, shit. Okay, that's my favorite one so far. My favorite QT with the katana in all, all the games. I like the way it's, it definitely got power. He has definitely got lots of uses, too. Wait, let me throw it because I don't want to, like, waste it. I don't know where it went, but all right. All right, hopefully we find it. Oh, it's right there. Nice. Ooh. Nice. Give me your bat. All right, who's next? Oh, the Taurina. Nice. We're getting everything. All right, we're filled with heat. Oh, shit. Oh! I almost didn't push it. Nice. All right, let's clean. Damn. All right. All right, our heat is running out, so we better hurry and beat some ass over here. This guy, Fury? All right, another one? Nah, no way you're gonna get us again. You gotta tell us well for me, huh? Stop blocking. There'll be a point when you're not blocking, blocking, so... Oh, shit. Nice. Nice. This guy grabbed something? What the fuck? Alright, he did, for sure. Alright. Let me get your katana. Did I throw the katana? I had the katana already. Shit. Alright, that was my bad, probably. Oh, shit. Alright. Nice. Alright, grab this. Oh, shit. Oh shit, I'm forgetting to block. Get this guy. Nice. Alright, grab this. Nice. Nice, get this guy already. Blocking? Oh shit. Sleeve already. Got a ton of health. Still, why can I grab him? What? What? All right. Nice. Shit, my health's kind of low. But we do have the uh, the health, the the items that we got. We got a ton of stemmy man. All right, that increased my entire health. Holy shit! All right, we got more enemies. Grab a guy. Nice! Do you hear that? <laughs> That's simple? I like that. Oh, grab a, the stick over here, the pipe! Damn, Kiri got the moves! Alright, I feel like Komaki taught him well out here, alright. Nice. Nice. What are you watching, huh? Grab him. Nice. Nice. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh shit. Combo? Nice. Alright, they both good. Alright, give me your katana. We good. Alright, that's not katana. Alright, who's who else is coming? Toughness Z. Nice. My favorite brand over here. Ooh, we got four enemies. Oh, they closed the door too? All right. That's not that's not a problem with here. Got tons of heat to use. Grab him. Oh shit, that jumping. What are you trying to grab, huh? Let me grab something as well then. Ah, oh, really? You're trying to hit me like that? Really? You smart, huh? Can I grab you? No way. Grab this guy. Nice. Nice blocking. Nice. Blocking. Oh shit. Alright, you doing the combo. 
Alright, grab this guy. Nice. Damn, we're leveling up, alright. Our right, health's not that good, though. And we barely, like... Oh, shit. We barely just healed. Alright, we gotta be quick. Nice. Nice. He, he done. Alright, only the fat guy now here. Fucking Kochi. Alright. Oh, shit. Alright, I should probably heal. Let me go upgrade stuff. I'm gonna wait for the 12, probably. Escape from enemy hold. Heat. Let's go with that. Alright, essence of swinging. So you ha that's how you get essence, alright. Ooh, red heat gauge? Oh, now I see. Now I wanna get that. Alright, toughness C will do it. Nice. Alright. I can't grab these type of guys. Alright. Alright, let me see if there's items. No, I don't think so. Alright. Oh shit, alright. Alright. Alright, finally. Damn. Alright, who's next? Are right, you going through the boss now? Damn, Kiryu? Usaki? That's her mom? Saki. So the Rudo got some new muscle. And he crushed my boys all by my, by himself. Color me impressed. I'm not Rudo family. I'm just here for the girl. Not sure I get how that's possible. Nakahara's the only one who'd lift a finger for this brat. It doesn't matter who asked me to come. One way or another, you're giving me the girl. Like hell I am. You think I let my one bargaining chip walk that easily? Bargaining chip? Yeah, pretty much. You don't know a damn thing, huh? You're more naive than you look. Hmm. That a compliment? Shame what this sweet little girl's had to go through. Huh. What you saying? Really? Fuck that shit already. First she watches her dad hang himself. Now her own mother kidnaps her for some bullshit love. Fuck that shit. What's this world coming to? Really? What do you mean? Her love is the real deal. You see, the three of us will be a family. Me? Shack up with an old slut like you? You're out of your fucking mind? Oh shit! No fucking way, and Saki just saw that too! You're getting her traumatized, what the fuck? You fucking asshole. You're not serious, right? It was a joke, right? Say something. Tell me this isn't happening. Get your filthy hands off of me. Oh my god. What the fuck? Shame, you could have used the facelift. Don't think I forgot about you. No way, we're definitely gonna fucking kill your ass. No way. Once I kill you, Nakahara's gonna get a nice package full of your fingers. This guy is fucking crazy. Look at him. Licking his fucking knife. What the fuck, bro? Well, this is a disappointment. I'm not a fan of raising my fist to low lives like you. Yeah, real fucking saint you are. But there's one thing I like even less. Oh, we know what that is. The thought of letting you go. And the fact that you just fucking punched and you treated Saki like that. Now come get some. What the fuck? Treating Saki like that and fucking hitting her mom like that? What the fuck? Fuck this guy. Fuck this asshole. Just fucking fuck your sofa out here. 
We're gonna get this guy with the fucking sofa. Damn, alright. Oh, fuck you. Nice. This guy's a bitch. Definitely a, a low life, like Kiryu-san. Alright. Grab this guy. Nice. Alright, get the sofa. Nice. Am I trying to dodge? I'm trying to dodge what? Look at the sofa I'm using here. Nice. Let me get the table. Whoa, throwing knives? Who do you think you are? Nice. Again, do it again. Let's go. Alright. Damn, we can destroy the windows? Nice, get this fucking guy. Nice. Oh shit. Kind of parries? I see. Throw him around, Kiryu. Nice. Alright, we gotta focus on this guy. Okay, he's definitely got a knife, so we better be careful with that. Alright, I see you. Nice. Alright, throwing knives? Who do you think you are? Let's go. Nice. Throwing is the best method out here. Let's go. Oh shit. Alright, we should better we better get some health. Alright, good thing we got Stanley Mans. Nice. Nice, getting him from the back. Alright, so whenever he does that, that thing where he throws the knives, I'm gonna go hit him in the fucking back over here. Oh, he's not, he's, you're mad now? Alright, red heat? Oh, he's got that now. Alright, I see. He changed weapons. Ooh, alright. Nice. Oh my god! I wasn't expecting the last one. Alright, see you. Ooh, nice dodge. Alright. Alright, I can't finish the combo because he'll do that. Oh shit. Nice. Alright. Ah oh, shit. Oh my god. Alright, we gotta be careful though. Alright, another Stammy man. Okay, that didn't work. Alright, he's doing his combos over here. Thinking he's the shit. Alright. Alright. Damn, keeps on doing that. Alright. Oh, what the fuck? Don't this guy over here. Alright. Alright, nice dodge. Alright. Alright, that didn't do much. Oh, I couldn't dodge his shit. Alright. Nice. Ah, oh, what? He tracked the shit? Alright, alright. Alright. Shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Alright. Almost. Alright. But no way he's gonna kill us. Alright, now we can hit him. He is not, like, defending himself right now. Alright. Nice. Ah, oh, he charged that fucking shit. Let me grab him. Oh, he doesn't. Okay, never mind. We can't already. Okay. Fuck that. Alright. Let's go. Alright, another one? No, wait. Nice, 
Nice. Fuck him up. We finishing him? Yes, we are. Head press. Yeah. All right. We're, we're still going to have to defeat him, though. We're not going to kill. We're, gonna, we're not taking his entire health. Oh, shit. All right. We definitely need to get more of a... Uh, more of those abilities. All right, he's blocking now. All right. What the fuck? All right. This guy over here. Alright. I knew that was gonna happen. Shit. Alright, wait for it. Yeah, it's definitely gonna keep on doing that. Alright. I think we just got a guard after that, right? Yeah, alright. Ah. Alright. Shit. Alright. Alright, do your shit. Alright. Ah, oh, this guy's charged the fucking shit. Alright. Fuck, he got- he needs to die. We got two. Alright, let me get that toughness. Alright, he's almost dead though. Fuck. Alright. Alright, another one. Fuck, no way. This doesn't even damage him. Them screams. Alright. Nice. Oh, really? Fuck. How do you even deal with that? What the fuck? Alright. Alright. Really? This fucking guy, what the fuck? Get the fuck away already. Shit. Alright. This guy was kind of an asshole. You see that shit? He was just like parrying my shit. Or starting his attacks before I could do anything. Alright. What is a guy like you doing in Okinawa? Fucking beating your ass up. Alright. Oh, nice. Alright. Nakamura. Saki. Damn, Saki has seen a lot. Saki has seen enough. Nakahara-san here. He's been worried sick since you disappeared. He was convinced you ran off so you could live with your mom. Damn. He was miserable. So now you have a choice, Saki. Nakahara or your mom. She's gonna be like, neither of them, I'm coming with you. Or what? <laughs> what? What the fuck is that? I don't want her. Just like she doesn't want me. Oh shit, you're all a bunch of fucking morons. Don't you get it? This little bitch ruined my life. What the fuck? From the moment she was born, everything was about her. How selfish do you have to be to say that to your own kid? I'll say what I want, don't touch me. Oh shit. Holy shit. If you want her weighing you down that bad, just fucking take her. That's fucked up. 
Some mother you are. Saying that all in front of your kid. Saki's gonna have it rough with her. It's like you'll be fine. I mean, she's seen enough, but she's definitely strong. You never looked in her no sketchbook, have you? No. Then open it. Damn. You're gonna find lots of sketches of him. Probably. Good father. Damn. Alright. Thank you for protecting me. Damn. That's lovely. Well, there's your answer. Saki. She is your daughter now. Isn't that right, Saki? Damn. Alright, Saki. Saki. Damn. Damn. Now that's something right there. That that hit me right there. Damn. I mean it. I can't thank you enough for what you did for me. I've been on this Yakuza scene near 40 years now. And never once have I met a man like you. That's enough. Oh no, I'm not done yet. After what happened tonight, I want you to be my sworn brother. Whoa. <laughs> what? Hey, Rikiyu? Getting the butt light? Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> what are you guys up to? Be my brother, Kiryu? Please. I won't take no for an answer. Now let's swear this oath. Hold on a sec. I left the Yakuza life behind. Who gives a damn? I want to do this as a show of respect. That's all I need. Damn. Kinda selfish, don't you think? We don't have a witness or anything. But this'll do. Now please. <laughs> if it's a witness you need, I'd be glad to oblige. Oblige. Or oblige. Whoa. Ooh, my man! Who is this? Daigo? Damn, my man! Oh shit! My man, motherfucker! Alright. It's been a while, Kiryu san. Why is, why is Daigo here, though? What are you doing down here? Looking into a family matter regarding the land for the Okinawa resort deal. You're involved in this resort business? In a way. To be more specific, the ones responsible for the situation I'm confronted with are a small Okinawa based offshoot of the Toyo clan. What? That piece of the Toyo you're talking about? Is it the Tamashiro? That's right. The Tamashiro family was originally founded to give us a foothold on the island. But now they've gone behind our backs and started buying up the land here for use in the resort deal. Alright, so this is what's going on. What do the Tamashiro stand to gain from that? As it turns out, Minister Suzuki of the resort program asked them to scoop up every patch of crucial real estate in his debt, in his steed. After all, his plan can't move forward without a certain amount of land to build on. Alright. So that's what they're up to. Yes. In order to get the land he required, Suzuki-san needed a local organization on his side. Alright. And the Tamashiro family just so happened to fit the bill. I see, but that doesn't explain why you came here yourself, Daigo. You're gonna fucking like have Rikiya come with us and shit? It seems the Tamashiro are using some questionable methods to get a hold of the land. In some cases, they've even resorted to stealing the deeds from their rightful owners. Damn. Is that why they abducted my Saki to trade her for some scrap of paper? Most likely, yes. They knew how much you cared for the girl and intended to use that affection against you. Damn. Fucked up. Those Tamashiro assholes. Not a shred of humanity, a lot of them. Allowing them to keep employing those tactics would only lead to trouble. 
Imagine the scandal if the public knew Yakuza were involved in the resort deal. It's true. Both it and the proposed military expansion would find themselves at extreme risk. Tamiya-san from the Ministry of Defense personally requested that I intervene. Wow. The truth of it is, the resort deal and the proposed military base are a linked pair. Huh. Meaning what? You can't have one without the other. If one fails, both fail. Huh, what? Were the resort to be cancelled, for example, only the base would remain. But public opinion would never support it on its own. In that sense, the resort's success is just as vital to Yatomiya-san as that of his own bill. I see. And that's why Tomiya sent you down here. He needs you to keep things from boiling over. Yes. Alright. This particular visit was requested by Tomakun here. He asked that I accompany Tamiya-san. I'm Minister Tamiya's personal secretary, Shoyo Toma. Kid, like you working for the Minister of Defense? That's some impressive shit. Huh. Not at all. I'm merely tasked with carrying out the Minister's orders. Hold on. If you stop the Tomashita from buying the land, they have nowhere to build the resort. Not to mention Tamiya's military base. Alright, damn, so Yakuza out here controlling the politics and everything? Indeed. We hope to attain the land through negotiation with the locals, not threats. Why do all this for just one bill? This place will be a major international success, far outweighing some trivial... Okay, Trump benefiting of the next Prime Minister. So it's all politics, yeah. As for the Toyo clan, we usually stay out of the business of our families. But were this to become a scandal, it would attract unwanted police attention. Damn, we... I just... We absolutely can't allow that to happen. Hence why I'm here now. Fucking Daigo out here being professional as fuck! So that's what's going on. But I had no idea your orphanage was being threatened, Kiryu-san. Came as quite a shot. Yeah, that's that's the main thing about it. Damn. Yes, that means you're not gonna have to part with your land. That's a win in my book. Oh shit, alright. I suppose. That may be true for the moment, but your time is not infinite. Alright, I will do whatever it takes to ensure the resort deal means with success. What do you mean? I thought you were in Tamiya's corner. Shouldn't you be worrying about the base? I'm an Okinawan native myself, so it pains me to see my beloved home slowly fading to obscurity. Alright. If we fail to bring in the resources this resort promises, our island will die a prolonged, agonizing death. Okay. I may work under Minister Tamiya, yes. But I'll do what I must to support my people. Hmm. Toma-san, was it? That's correct. If you're really a local, you should know people don't want your damn resort. That's true. I used to think it wouldn't be so bad if it was bringing in the cash. But I was dead wrong. What people here really care about is keeping the Okinawa they love just the way it is, right? Because they're, they're trying to like make it like the mainland over here. But that's not the... I mean, yeah. As if that matters in Tokyo. To them, we're nothing more than an insignificant speck of earth. Damn. He's trying to make Okinawa mainland over here. But I'll do whatever it takes to change that. Even if it means making sacrifices. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if that's good. Sa sacrifices like our land, I guess. Correct. Okinawa is famous for its abundant beaches. There should be no harm in laying claim to a few acres of that abundance. 
Hmm. So the ends justify the means, huh? Spoken like a true politician. Yeah. But you know, people might not be as willing to budge as you hope. Damn. I mean, he is trying to alter Okinawa. No way. Fuck that. Trying to make it like mainland over here. In any case, I hope we can move on from this matter both quickly and peacefully. We should be going, Tamakun. Daigo. What is it? If the Toji clan ever does decide to come for my land, just give me a heads up first, okay? Damn! Those kids depend on me as they would their actual father. But you don't need him worry. As long as I'm chairman, the Tojo will stay far away from Okinawa. You promise? Of course. Okay, that's a sincere look. I'm well aware of how resilient you are, Kirisan. Incurring your wrath would likely be the last thing I did. <laughs> Tomakun's dream for Okinawa can wait until he himself becomes prime minister. Right, Tomakun? Shit. You'll be an old man by then, Kirisan. And those children of yours will be about the same age I am now. Damn. Maybe then things will be different. I still won't be a pushover. I expect not. Until next time, for Chairman. Alright, Daigo. Tomakun strikes me like he, he doesn't give a fuck. I feel like we're, we're gonna have a fight with Tomakun at some point in the story because the way he was seeing us right there? No way. This guy doesn't. He's not playing with our plans. By Thor Chairman, he, he didn't mean of the Toyo clan. Did he? And if he did? <laughs> You're shitting me? Everyone who's anyone's heard the lanes of the Fort Chairman. The Dragon of Dojima, right? Damn. And you're Kiryu? <laughs> Next time you pick a fight, you might want to do a little more research first, brother. <laughs> now he's brother to the Dragon of Dojima. Look at me swearing an oath with the biggest fish in the Yakuza Sea. Guess you never know what life will throw at you. Damn. Yeah, that was probably sour. You see my man's face? Alright. Hey, Alright. Yeah, that's nice. Chapter 4, The Man in the Sketch. Oh, shit! Alright, we get into the, the actual part. Okay, now we're here? What the fuck? Alright. Already? Or are they calling us? Or right, we just saw uh, fucking Kazama. Oh, shit. One year later. Yes. Kashiwagi. Oh shit, Kashiwagi. Sorry, Kashiwagi-san, I'm actually at a hospital right now. Mind if I call you back later? Oh, I can autoplay that? Kiryu, the sixth chairman has been shot. What? Daigo? Tell me everything. It happened about an hour ago in his office. I'm not sure of the specifics. Damn. All we know for certain is that the man who shot him was the, spitting, the splitting image of Patriot Kazama. Holy shit. Kazama-san. So is it Kazama-san really or not Kazama-san? So I hear. I'll let you know if I learn anything more. Goodbye Kiryu. What the fuck? So we're going back to Kamarucha, right? We're going back? Fuck. What's going on, Aniki? From the sounds of it, the Toji Clan's sixth chairman has been shot. Hold on a sec. When you and the boss swore your oath a year ago, the sixth chairman was a witness, right? Yeah. And the one who shot Daigo, it was him. The man in the drawing. Yep. Looks like it was. 
All right, he good? What? Doc, how's the boss? We've done all we can to stabilize his condition. The next week or so would be critical. Is he gonna make it? It's hard to say with absolute certainty. He was shot three times at point black range, after all. Luckily, the bullets all appear to have nearly missed his vital organs. That is certainly something to be thankful for. What are the odds he'll pull through, Doc? You gotta tell me. At the moment, I'd say around 50-50. Damn. Oh. But remember, he managed to call an ambulance entirely on his own despite having been shot multiple times. I don't think he's ready to leave you all just yet. I will do everything we can to make sure he doesn't. Thank you so much, Doc. Damn. So Nakamura got shot? Damn, night time at the orphanage? What's going on? Alright, Haruka with us. Shit. Where are the others? They all went to bed. Damn. You're gonna speak to one another? Uncle Kas. What's up, Haruka? Are you gonna go back to Kamurucho? Damn. I don't know if I am. Huh? Why not? I have a life here now. Responsibilities. I don't have time to go running off to Tokyo at the drop of a hat. But if you don't, we're gonna lose the orphanage, right? It's hard to say. Though one thing's for sure. Whoever shot Nakahara, or not, yeah, Na Nakahuro, or Na Nawamura, I said something like that. Nakahara was after the deed of her land. Nakahara. Damn. So, Kazam? Anaki, Rikiya's here? Rikiya. Little late for a house call, don't you think? Sorry, but I've got a favor to ask. Another one? What is it? Well, um... I want to go to Kamarucha with you. <laughs> huh? I know you're gonna try and get the deep back, Anaki. Which means finding the guy who shot the boss. Please, you've got to take me with you. <laughs> Rikiya. Oh, and Mikio can stick around the hospital while we're gone. He's on board if it means us getting payback for what that asshole did to the boss. And Saki, what happens to her? Oh shit. Let me let me let me get this call again. <laughs> Alright. I'm back, you guys. Alright. Uh Uh I mean uh alright, look, I'm glad you want revenge for your boss, but who's gonna be there to look after Saki if you're not around? Well, uh I could do it. Huh? Saki-chan can stay with us at the orphanage. It's not gonna be easy, you know. I know. But she's probably been really lonely with her dad in the hospital and everything. Maybe it'll be good for her to spend time with other kids for once. Haruka-chan. I'm sure the others would love to have a new friend to play with, too. But, uh... Please, Uncle Kaz. I've trusted you all these years. This time I need you to trust me. We'll take good care of her. Really. Haruka. We gotta trust Haruka. Anaki, I... I promise I won't get in your way or anything. Just please. I'm begging you. Let me tag along. Alright. Let's go, Rikia. You you with us. Anaki. You won't regret it, I promise. Damn, we leave Okinawa tomorrow night. Damn. Head back to the office and pack your things. Nice, let's go. Rikia with us? Our boy, we about to go eat to the restaurants and shit, you know. Haruka. Take care of Rikia for me. What? I can't take him for now. Kamurucha is too dangerous. Shit, Kiryu, this burden in his mind alone to bear. Uncle Kaz. What the fuck? Damn, Kiryu really did him like that? Shit. It's getting kind of chilly. Let's go in, Uncle Kaz. I actually think I'm going to stay out here a, a little longer. Oh, okay. See you inside. Don't forget to wipe your feet off before you go in. 
Damn, Kiryu let, did him like that? That's some shit right there. Damn. Alright, can I save the game though? Hopefully I can save. Tell me I can save the game. Ah, uh, yes I can. Alright, we're probably gonna leave it here, you guys, but damn, so far it's been fucking awesome. You see my man Daigo out here talking shit my boy Kiryu. We got Nakamura, no, no, yeah, Nakamura. Nakamura? Oh shit. But you know, my man out here, sworn brother of Kiryu. And then we have Saki with us, probably. And then Haruka's gonna probably like take care of the orphanage then by herself. That's kind of weird to think. Aren't there gonna be adults around? Well, Rikia, but damn. And then we're gonna go and check out my, I mean, Kazama. Really, Kazama did this? Like, is Kazama really actually alive? Or is it like a clone Kazama? Maybe it's not even Kazama, it's probably a clone. But alright then, we're probably get, we're gonna leave it here, you guys. And yeah, definitely gonna keep on doing this. We're definitely gonna do part 3 real soon. I'm not gonna take a while like I did with the first part. So, alright, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. It means a lot to me. Appreciate it a ton. We'll definitely see you guys later with the part 3 of Yakuza. Three, all right. <laughs> but all right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I love you all, and see ya.